Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today I want to educate you a little bit on what a real puka shell is. Several years ago I had a friend of mine come up to me with this bag here full of shells, mostly puka beads, and she wondered if I wanted them. And I offered to pay her for them. She says, no, I'm just going through stuff and I was going to throw them out and I thought of you and they're yours if you want them. I was ecstatic. Puka beads. She said she got these in Hawaii um, back in the 70s when her and her family traveled there as tourists. <laughs> and I, I guess she found them on the beach. But I was very happy to get them. These puka shells took me back to my high school days, my early high school days which would have been uh, 74, 75. I graduated in 77. But it was about 1974, 75 that the puka bead necklace became very, very popular. And again, I had a friend who had gone to Hawaii and he had picked up a whole bunch of puka shells, just the shells. I don't know if he picked them up on the beach. He probably got them out in the store, I would venture to say. But anyway, uh, he was giving them to friends, and I was actually one of the lucky recipients. And I made this necklace. And I'll have to say, this is probably one of the very first pieces of jewelry that I ever made. I have thought about taking it apart and redoing it, but I just can't. I can't do it. It's, like I said, one of my very first pieces. Just give you a little look over here. But the main reason for this video is not to show you the very first piece that I've made, but to talk a little bit about puka shells. Because I notice that a lot of people if it's a shell, they call them puka. And even these, these are cowrie shells, but they call them puka beads. These are definitely not puka beads. They are real shells, but they are cowrie shells. Just as these are not real puka shells, it is a surfer style necklace. This actually came, uh, my, uh, one of my kids bought this when we went to Cozumel. And it is not puka. They are real shells, but not puka. And let me show you why. Take a really good look at these shells. I think they're just a sliced cut shell, but a real puka bead has a hole in the middle and it's concaved, almost like a mushroom. Soft at the top kind of rounded and then concaved in the middle. When you look at these, which I believe they call these tiger pukas, <laughs> these are real puka beads. I don't think these are. I think they're just cut shell. They do not have the rounded top and then the concave center. This actually was a necklace I wore when I was in high school too. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, I think my 10th grade picture, I'm wearing this necklace. Here's a necklace I made recently with some of those puka beads that my friend gave me a few years ago. I just wire wrapped a shell fragment, added some crystals and some puka beads, and I have me a very unique necklace here. So the next time you're in the market for a shell necklace and you come across something that says, Puka shells? Take a close look. More than likely, it is not a real puka shell necklace. Just remember, puka shells sort of look like a little mushroom, the top of a mushroom, kind of curved at the top, hole in the middle, concaved at the bottom. It almost looks like maybe it was drilled, but this is naturally occurring. So anyway, let me know. 
Were you one of these people in the 70s that wore puka shells? Real puka shells? Did you even know there was a difference? Maybe you are quite a bit younger than I am, and you wore puka shells when it had made a comeback not long ago. I actually love wearing the surfer style stuff. Growing up in Florida, that's pretty much what I grew up with. Ron John Surf Shop <laughs> and the such. But let me know your experience. Comment down below. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Always do. But especially, I hope you all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.